It's my pleasure to read a tribute to Dr. Roger Tomlinson, and uh, I could get away with saying he needs no introduction. I'm done. <laughs> and I will read the whole thing. Dr. Roger Tomlinson, generally recognized as the father of GIS, is known as a visionary geographer who conceived and developed GIS for use by the Canada Land Inventory in the early 1960s. This and continuing contributions led to the Canadian government giving its highest civilian award, the Order of Canada, in 2001. Text for that award reads, he pioneered its uses worldwide to collect, manage, and manipulate geographical data, changing the face of geography as a discipline. Dr. Tomlinson's contributions include chairmanship of the International Geographical Union's GIS Commission for 12 years, where he pioneered the concepts of worldwide geographical data availability. He is a past president of the Canadian Association of Geographers and a recipient of its rare award for service to the profession. The Association of American Geographers in the United States awarded him the James R. Anderson Medal of Honor for Applied Geography in 1995. He became the first recipient recipient of the Robert Engenberg Distinguished Career Award in 2005. Dr. Tomlinson is an honorary fellow of the Royal Geographical Society and winner of its prestigious Murchison Award for the Development of Geographic Information Systems. In 1996, he was awarded the GIS World Lifetime Achievement Award for a lifetime of work with geographic information systems and he was the first recipient of the ESRI Lifetime Achievement Award in 1997. National Geographic <coughs> gave him its Alexander Graham Bell Award for Extraordinary Achievement in Geographic Research in 2020. <coughs> Born in Cambridge, England, Dr. Tomlinson adopted Canada as his home in 1957. During the spring of 1962, while on a plane bound from Ottawa to Toronto, he met Lee Pratt, then recently named head of the Canada Land Inventory. Pratt's inventory was intended to assist the government in land use planning activities and was expected to require 356 cartographic technicians three years to do the job and cost eight million Canadian dollars. Tomlinson proposed a digital solution, which he called a geographic information system that would do the job in weeks and cost less than two million Canadian dollars. He holds bachelor's degrees from Nottingham University in England and Acadia University in Canada, a master's degree from McGill University in Canada, and a PhD from University College London in England. The title of his doctoral thesis was The Application of Electronic Computing Methods and Techniques to the Storage, Compilation, and Assessment of Mapped Data. Dr. Tomlinson is the principal of Tomlinson Associates Limited Consulting Geographers, which was established in 1977 in Ottawa, Ontario. As his Order of Canada award reads, governments and scientists around the world have turned to him to better understand our environment and changing patterns of land use, to better manage urban development and our precious natural resources. He has advised clients such as the World Bank, United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, the U.S. Departments of Commerce and Agriculture, U.S. Geological Survey, U.S. Forest Service, U.S. Bureau of the Census, the Canadian Forest Service, and numerous U.S. state and Canadian provincial and municipal government agencies. His book, Thinking About GIS, Geographic Information System Planning for Managers, provides guidance for both senior managers responsible for a broad range of activities in their organization, and the more technical managers responsible for actual implementation of GIS. The fourth edition of his popular book was published in 2011. For his outstanding contributions to geographic information, systems, and science, Dr. Roger Tomlinson is awarded the status of UCGIS Fellow in 2013.
said, I get awards. You heard about them all. This is not an unusual state of affairs. It's called getting old. <laughs> it, uh, it happens that way. But I'm never happier than when I'm surrounded by GIS people. Line this battery ran out. Get your phone out. Awfully good people to know. Um, I was pondering this morning when I heard your discussion on UCGIS and what you should do and who you should improve and, uh, and so on. I think it was a very important discussion. Um, your original purpose was clear. Get money from the federal government and give it to GIS. <laughs> oh, that's a perfectly good and noble uh, endeavor, right? So what should the endeavor be now? That's the question. What's the purpose of UCGIS? That's a good question. I think the purpose, let me back up. I look at sometimes at our state of affairs in GIS. And what do we show up? People. We're short of trained people. I, ten years ago, I worked on the algorithm of three. You need one trained person for every million dollars of GIS expenditure made, um, compared to the number of GIS trained people being put out by our universities and colleges. We're about 3,000 a year short. That was ten years ago. Now if I up the number to $10 million of investment for every one person, we're still $3,000 uh, people a year short. Now that's a terrible, a terrible accusation against the very people in this room, the University Consortium of GIS. I charge you then that your purpose ought to be improvement in numbers and volume and quality of the education of people in GIS. You know it's needed. I think we need your assistance and help in putting it in place. And if you work in that direction, whatever the thrills and the furloughs uh, of other things that you do, you have made a significant contribution to this land of ours. Thank you again for your recognition of GIS. Um, it's very dear to my heart.